factories. What they're doing is they're establishing a geoengineering governance regime. It's a self-proclaimed regime. They asked for papers to identify things like, should we even involve the UN? Should we take into consideration human health impacts? What role will public perception and opinion play while we establish this solar geoengineering governance regime? self-titled regime. So Patrick and I, we independently um, submitted papers. I hired a PhD. My paper delved into um, the human rights aspect, that we have the right to environmental decision-making participation. Both of our papers were, of course, rejected. It is their plan to do full-scale deployment. They claim that all of the research that we've been seeing, these grid patterns, are research. They're admitting to it. The chemtrails, the geoengineering, the solar radiation management, Okay, and now you can even look up the Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative, SRMGI. Okay, it's an initiative to govern their solar radiation management, which is chemtrails, which is geoengineering. Mm -hmm. So these people are meeting, 24 scientists behind closed doors, to develop the plan for the regime to take hold to go full-scale deployment. Some days don't have chemtrails, right? Some days are clear. And really, the more clear days you get in a row, the more likelihood it is that you're going to get a grid pattern coming up. But this irregular pattern of appearance where you not only have no lines in the sky, but you also don't have the air traffic, okay? Listeners, feel free to look up at your sky. Look at that air traffic. See those days where there's nothing going on. And this irregularity in the appearance is... It's the clue, it's the first clue for the, for the newbies. Chemtrails are also called solar geoengineering. It's also called solar radiation management. It's also called stratospheric aerosol injections. Okay, and what they like to do is they like to confuse us with the terminology. It's all one thing, right? It's all chemtrails. It's all geoengineering. It's all solar radiation management, stratospheric aerosol injections. Whatever word you want to give it, it's all treason. It's very, very obvious that chemtrail does not behave like an actual cloud formation. It forms out and fades into a milky haze, all right? Irregular pattern of appearance, the number of trails seen simultaneously at a given time. When you're sitting out there and it's a normal day and then all of a sudden a dozen planes show up and grid the sky, whereas you've seen three planes all day, something is going on there. That's it. It's that simple. How come all of a sudden all the planes show up at once and zigzag the sky? We got broken trails, all right? Things are going on where they're mixing chemicals in the sky. They're using the atmosphere as a laboratory. That is a quote from NASA. Using the atmosphere as a laboratory. Okay, the exhaust is often coming where the engines are not. Okay, this wakes the people up. In 1983, we had 50 companies, right? 90% of the media, 1983, 50 companies encapsulated the 90% of the media. Now it's been consolidated down to six companies. Those six companies are owned by just a couple families. Everything is controlled. They hand a script to the entire nation. And your local broadcaster is reading something that was planned to build your mental construct to control the way you think about everything. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, right? Especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. Civil society actors that, quote, manifest the will of the public. They call these astroturf because almost everything has been co-op. They contemplated how they were going to convince us that we need solar geoengineering to block out the sun. They say, society is lousy at strategy, but we are not. A few suggested that to shift the conversation in productive ways, geoengineering will be characterized publicly as a terrible choice. We'll start the conversation by introducing them this problem and we'll tell them that it's a horrible idea. Problem, reaction, solution. So here they come out immediately. Geoengineering, a horrible idea. Geoengineering climate fixes could harm billions. During this short time frame, Forbes magazine, Washington Post, chemtrails are not real, showing a picture of chemtrails. So if you're new to this, you're being educated by your trusted news sources, okay? And they're telling you there's nothing to see up there, don't worry. But wait, wait in six months, they're gonna tell you they've got a cure for global warming and it's identical to what they have proven to you does not exist geoengineers to spray sun reflecting chemicals from a balloon. They think that we're so dumb 
that we see the lines coming out of the planes, we see these rare halos going around the sun, and then all they have to say in the newspaper is, well, we're gonna use balloons, don't worry. Geoengineering gets green light from federal scientists 2017. March 25th, we've got new clouds for you. 12 of them. 12 new clouds? And how does this correspond to this entire agenda push? And the name for these vapor trails, Homo Mutatus, which literally means man-made. The World Meteorological Organization has decided to add 11 new cloud classifications. That's to their international cloud atlas, and this is a big deal because it is the first time they've added anything in 30 years. Forget being on cloud nine, we are on cloud 12, because that's how many new types of clouds have been added to this historic update coming from meteorologists. I'm a little biased, right? Exciting stuff, guys. All right, so the new types include the Vladis or roll cloud, which has been designated as a whole new species. You can see it gets its name from this long horizontal tube-like shape. Next one up, we have the cavum, or the hole punch cloud, this big circular gap. is sometimes caused by aircraft taking off and landing. Very easy to see, right? Makes sense there. And we also have the sparatus. These are gorgeous. It's actually my favorite. It's kind of looking like it waves while you're underwater. I mean, these are actually beautiful. I mean, check these out. And then finally, we also have the big surfer waves of the Floctus cloud. So beautiful, right? There's just a sample of the new additions that we have. Meteorologists, sky watchers, daydreamers, we're all geeking out, guys. The meteorologists are all part of that same program. They're all getting handed a script and they're told to read it and they have no choice. And already it's time for governance. Okay? This is something that they just shoved down our throats for the past few months and they say they're going to be doing it in the future and they say don't worry that it's not real six months ago. Now they're already talking about how are they going to govern it. They're, they're pushing this agenda full speed, full speed ahead. They're already talking about how to govern something that we're still slowly waking up to that they're gonna be doing it to us publicly. This very small group of globalists claim that they have the exclusive rights to saving us and that we don't get it and they do. This is all of our skies, this is all of our air, this is our children's future. Everybody is involved here, all right? There was a time when people got pissed and they did something about it and they made things change, okay? They know that they can program you through social media, okay, and we can't let that happen. It's up to us to carry this information forward. It's up to us to be the change. And if we don't do it, we're not gonna have any sun. Thank you.